so what's up this vlog you about to see i filmed this a little while back but it's me making a, a food called kiwi with my family something that i loved eating since i was little and really while i'm recording this vlog why i recorded that vlog is because i want to go back to it and be like okay this is how we made it we did this we did this part we did this we put this together and that's how we made it and i'm like also i want to share more vlogs with y'all so it's a win-win and i will get to show a little bit more of my life and um i also get to create something that i can share with my kids now i'm going to be doing more different type of vlogs like just uh like movie premieres and being in the studio and cool shit like that or whatever but uh let me have this one and let me know if you like it and if you want to see anything obscure or any type of improvements you think i can make to the video right but anyways um i think it's about time i get a little bit more vulnerable show more of my life because i want to get to know you better so i better start because i want you to know me better i want us to get to know each other better so you know i take one step forward you take one step forward um yeah just comment let me know what you think let me know what you want to see next and stuff like that let's get it by the way, I said my kids, I don't have kids yet. My future kids, all right? Relax. So mom, how much, how much, what is this, quinoa? No. What is that? Couscous. Couscous? Couscous? Mm -hmm. And how much couscous you put in there? Four pounds. Four pounds? Mm -hmm. Four pounds of couscous? Mm -hmm. And how much water you put in there? I just need to have water, enough water, like on top of it, to soak. Okay. It's gonna swallow the water. Okay. And, and then after that, I'm gonna keep checking to see if it's soft enough, if it's squeezed, I squeeze, I squeeze it, and it's like it's breaking. I will show you. Okay. But you're gonna wait for it to soak first. Yes. Cilantro prepare? What is this? Parsley? Yeah. I want six bunches. Six bunches? And what's this? Mint. Mint? Mm -hmm. Mom, what's this? Basil. Basil? Basil. What about this in the bag? Is basil too? Basil. That was all basil for that time. Okay. I see, I see it starting to soak up the water. So now, the next step, what's this? Parsley, you're blending it? So that's it right there. From that to this. Oh, Auntie Nancy. Hi, Gigi. I'm, I'm making a vlog, making kiwi. Oh, nice. Yeah. Say hi, Gigi. Say hi, Gigi. Hi, Gigi. Gigi, you want to play? It's the Syrian vlog. It's a Haitian food. Mm. It's, from, it's from Syria. It's from the Middle East. Mm -hmm. So that's what we, we, we had as a heritage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that was, that was, was that my great, great grandfather? That was Syrian? Yes. So I forgot to mention, kiwi is a dish, dish from the Middle East, but my great great grandfather is actually a uh, Syrian, and he traveled to Haiti, and that's how he met my great great uh, grandmother, Saint Elise, or maybe my great grandmother. Yeah, my great grandmother. So you blend everything. Put them in separate uh, containers. Separate containers yeah. after you blend them. Main ingredients is mint, basil, onion, <coughs> pima, couscous, and parsley. But parsley is the main ingredient yeah. after the couscous. You put mostly parsley, mm -hmm. and then a little bit of mint, a little bit of basil. A little bit of onion and a little bit of pima. Yeah. You blend the pima too? Yes. Woo! That probably be hot. No. When you I blend it? I don't put the, 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 the seed. The seed is hot. 
Ah, uh, so you don't you don't blend the seed. No. You open them up, you take the seed out. Yeah. And then you blend it. Mm -hmm. This is not that hard to make. No. Try time, time. What kind of time and effort? Mm -hmm. Some people they don't do what I do. It's too much for them. I think that's a lot of things in life. It's not that hard it is, it's just time consuming. Time consuming. Takes a Look, you see, it's dry. Mm. You so you didn't water. even pour the water out? No, That's how no, I do. Yeah, but you know what I do? I always like, turn it around because the water is on the bottom. Mm. You see? Because I don't want to put too much water. You understand? Mm -hmm. I don't want to put too much water. What, what do you do with the excess water? You pour it out? Uh, if it has excess water, I will pull it, pull it out, um, squeeze it out. But right now, it's mm -hmm. it seems like it's just soaking up the water as you turn it around. Yeah, I want to soak it. But I need to add a little bit more. You put more water? Yeah. So this is too, too dry? Uh, it's too dry. But you have to be careful. You see when you touch it? Uh -huh. You see when you touch it? You have to keep on. Like, you have to touch it, yeah. then you press it. You press right? it. If it doesn't make a paste, it's not done yet. Oh. It has to be like all together in like a little paste. So I have so to like mush itself into yes, a paste yes. when I press it. So if you press it and it stays like that. It stays hard? It stays hard, that means you still need a little bit of water. Okay. So you know when it's ready, it's when you paste, put it, and you press it, and it become a little paste. Okay, okay, I see that. How, how much meat? How much meat did you put in it? It depends on your taste. Okay. Some people do one pound. To two pounds. Two, okay. Some people. Some people do one pound to one pound and a half. Okay. And the least is one to one. Okay. So if you want to taste more meat, you put more meat. Okay. If you want to taste like it's more of that, kush kush over there, you put one and one. Okay. That makes That's sense. Two so you just finished blending up the pima. Yeah. The, what is that? Is that a habanero pepper? Habanero pepper. I have more here. I didn't do it all of them. Okay. And you did, did you do the onions? I That's did onions. the onion. So we blended everything. Mm -hmm. That's, it's not enough. Stephanie went to buy some more. What's that? This is basil. Basil. Okay. Mm. We need to get more basil. Okay. Mm. You must, you must a little bit wet on the bottom you turn it and turn it you know and then after that to taste it you know you squeeze it in your nose you see it's squeezable and then you can taste it also you can taste it also also it kind of yeah. mush up yeah so if you taste it you can just like a cook rice a cook you know does it need to be softer than that Oh, man, feel like it's so far, but since we put it in the freezer. Okay. And, uh, All right. Because sometimes you will add water and then it gets so mushy, so. All right, so what do we do now? Now, I'm going to see if I can um, season the meat. Then, let me see Leave him alone, let, let him finish. You have to wait, you have to be patient. It's a bathroom after his privacy. Huh? All right, so, so far with the kiwi, we prepped the couscous. We chopped up all the ingredients. So what's next left is to season the meat and then mix it all up and cook it or whatever. I don't know, but next step is season the meat. Okay, so you take the mint. No, that's parsley. That's parsley? Yeah, we started with the parsley. Start with the parsley. Mm -hmm. And you mix it with the meat, mulen. Mix, mix. Mix. Mix it, what is this one? This is uh, mint. 
And then that's the mint. So you took half of the parsley. Put more parsley. Mm -hmm. Because we're gonna add it and you see that amount. Okay. How much meat was that? Did we take? Around seven pounds. Around seven pounds. Almost. <clears throat> This is the the onions. You want to do another one? I'm not going to do one for this. What have you done? Grandma, what are you doing? Huh? Yeah. Boy, put them touchy. Me. Ooh, bless you, Grandma. Hi. 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 We want to tell people. Who's that? There's people that's watching it. My community. What do you want to tell them? Hello, I love you. Hey. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Wait. Hi, everyone. Yeah. So you added more spice? You added Maggie? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so everything got mixed up all the way, and now you compacting it into this tub. Yeah, because I don't want to leave it outside. I'm going to put it in the fridge. All right, you're going to put it in the fridge. To wait until I'm ready to roll them. Well, this is us rolling it up. Yes. So, what, what, where do we get this meat from? What kind of meat is that? This is beef Man, that, that we snack, cook that separately. Huh? Okay. And we cut it in small pieces. Stick a hole in it. And you put the meat that you cook inside of it. And you close it. And you fry it up. That's enough, a little bit. Let, let the top part sit out and turn it. And when it's done, it should look like this. This is how it looks when it's done. This is how it should look. See what I like to do? Is one side hit the top, it's open, that's how it looks on the inside. Let me bite a little bit more, I'm gonna show you the meat on the inside. That's a little piece of meat right there. Right there, on the inside. Once it's open, I like to put the lime inside like that. Thank you. Like that. That's a video on how to make kibi. Thank you for watching. Shout out to my descendants that are watching this right now. And y'all have a good day. Everybody say bye to the vlog. Bye. Come on. Say bye. Say bye. 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 Bye.